all right guys so now in this video we're going to continue uh, rigging the whole vehicle so the next thing we want to do is as you can see we added in some empty over here and uh, I think one more over here and I think we pairing to this one to the main body let me just make sure of that so I'm just going to take the main body and try to move it and see if it's parented to it so I'm going to press G and you can see it's parented to it very nicely like that all right so let me hide that now what we're going to do is as we already rigged this part of the suspension so you can see it's moving up and down very nicely but now we have to make sure this move i mean this spring here also compresses as this uh piece here goes up and down all right because that is what happens obviously in real life so what we're going to do is we're going to take this spring here and i want to add in a transformation constraint right here so you should find it right here transformation just adding a transformation constraint and what we're going to do is we are going to uh, we're going to select the target to be this empty over here that this empty circle here so just take the spring add in a transformation constraint and select the target to be this empty here with the eyedropper tool like that so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be moving this piece over here so let me just change the the orientation to local so on local right now so this is the z-axis of the object all right and this also is the x-axis that is locally all right so i'm going to change this to local space down here for the transformation constraint just change that real quick or else you're going to have some issues at some point in time <coughs> while animating with this <coughs> uh, rig so what we're going to do is we're going to add in the transformation constraint to this make sure this is local space and this is also local space so what we're going to do is we're going to this source here is actually the source here is this empty here and the destination is a spring as you can see here the destination so from the source what we're going to do is we're going to transform the source's location in the z axis to the uh, destination's scale in the x axis that is locally so we're going to transform from location to scale all right and it's going to be from the z axis that is going to be moving up and down in the z axis to the x axis here all right for the scale so it's going to be z we're going to change this to z so that's z to x all right so we'll transform it we'll transform it from z to x the rest we can just ignore it all right so what we're going to do next is we're going to put in some values to actually uh, make this work so what we're going to do first is uh, before we do anything else let's go over here right i want us to copy the z axis for this value here that is the location for this empty here the z axis here just copy it and paste it in some kind of uh just paste it somewhere you can remember and then paste it back once we finish this just copy that z axis location and just put it somewhere so i don't know i'm just gonna put mine maybe uh let me just bring up my notepad and i'm gonna paste that in there all right so now i have the value just make sure you also have it somewhere you can paste it back once we finish this so what i'm gonna do first is we're gonna take this one right here i want to pull it up in the z axis okay to how far up we think this suspension can go so if i bring back the main body let's take this again and let's move this as far as up we think we think it can go all right so i'm going to pull it up to about here i think this is about how high i want it to go and i'm going to hide that body again and i'm going to take the spring here all right so what i'm going to do is first off let's go back to the constraint here so the location over here we want to copy the location of this piece that is the object here the z axis location and we're going to put that in the minimum i think in the minimum value for this z axis here so let's just paste that in there like that and now what we're going to do now is to take the spring as well and then we're going to drop the value in the x axis not the z axis because of course it's z to x so we're going to drop it in the I think the maximum is the maximum value so just drop the maximum value until let me just hide this until this one right here I'm just gonna drop it until it falls right above that secular plate over there that is this black piece over here until it falls right on top of it and just take a closer look like that so yeah that is good let me hide this again so just make sure you pull it up there like that in this uh, axis here and now what I want to do is I want to press Alt and H to bring everything back again I want to take this and I want to send it as far down as we think it can go so I'm going to drop it down to about I think here should be good I don't want it to go too far down so I'm just going to pull it up or you know I'm just going to keep it there like that 
So now I'm gonna hide this again. And now let's copy the Z value again for this. That is right here. Copy it. And now let's put it in here in the constraint for the maximum value. I'm not sure if that is how it goes. Maybe this is about, all right, we'll try to fix that once we're done. So once we do that, we're gonna go back down here. I wanna increase this value until, let me just get down here real quick. Uh, I think I'm seeing some kind of issue here. Let me see. Yeah, there's definitely something wrong. Let me take a look. And I think that's because this thing is not properly aligned. So let me just rotate it in Y axis so it aligns a little bit better before I do this. All right, there we go. So let's re-enable this. Nice. All right, so I'm just going to stretch it down now to something quite low, right about there, until it touches it over there. Now let me get back to front view. I think I want to rotate this a bit more in the Y axis, just a bit more, to about there. Should be good. All right. So that is the value. Just make sure you, you increase that value until that thing goes all the way down to there. So now, let me take a look at this. Okay. So it's not working, and I think that's because we flipped the values for this Z location here. So what we're going to do is, let's copy this, Control C, and then let's paste it in here. And now I'm going to copy that value, that is this one, right here, Control C. I want to paste it in a minimum instead for this one right here, like this. And now let's take a look at this again. All right, there we go. So you can see it's working very nicely. And just move here. Let me take a look. There we go. So you can see it's working very nicely, just the way we want it to. But then the reason why this piece here is actually not aligned with the whole thing, that is a, what do I say? I mean, at some point I had to rotate this to align with this piece over here. And I think that was as a result of uh, us not parenting it to this. So what we're going to do is let's put up the transformation constraint before we do the parenting, okay? Or else it's going to give us some issue. So just put up the transformation constraint and then let's take this piece and then take that piece. I want to press Control P and parent it to that object and keep the transformation like that. Now we can re-enable that transformation constraint and everything, it should, I mean, it should follow it very nicely without any issue, as you can see. Nice. All right, so that was a quick fix for that. So now once, once we're done, what we're gonna do is we wanna recopy that uh, value that we posted, wherever we posted it, that is the one I access to copy initially. We wanna copy that value again, and then put it back in the Z axis for the empty here. So let's just go to the object properties and paste it in here to reset the location to the original one that we had it going on. All right. So there it is. Now if we move this up and down, you can see the spring compresses and decompresses with it nicely like that. So that was a quick one. Now um, what we're going to do next is to uh, limit this location for this piece over here. All right. So we're going to add in a limit location constraint right here. So add in a limit location constraint. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in here to this object. We're going to go to the constraint here. I want to copy the minimum value here. Let's take this again. We're going to paste it, the constraint here. So we're going to go, uh, let me see. Local space, change that to local space. And I think it's the Z axis in the, uh, I think this, no, hold on. Is it? I think this would be X axis, Y axis, and Z axis, if I'm not wrong. I think so. Let me just re-enable that. Okay, let me see. Let me paste it. Let me paste this in here. And I'm going to go back here and copy the maximum value over here as well. Control C. And I'm going to paste that in here as well. Control V. And there we go. All right, so that should limit it. If we pull it all the way up, you can see once it gets there, it doesn't uh, move beyond it. And when we go down as well, it doesn't move beyond that. Just like that. Nice. Uh, be sure to enable this piece over here, okay? So the four transformation, four transform that you see here, just enable that. Now, if you don't enable that, here's what happens. Let me just save this up real quick. If you don't enable this checker box over here, when you pull this down, when you keep pulling it, let me show you real quick. When you keep pulling this down, okay, you can still see I keep pulling it down like this, okay? It's still going. 
all the way to some point here, all right? So if I try to pull it up, it has to move the same distance that I pulled it down in order for it to move up again, all right? So you can see I'm still going, and now it moves up, all right? So that, that thing, you, you want to take care of that thing with this checker box over here. So once you enable that, no matter how far down you move it, as long as it is limited to that location, that is the location it's going to limit it to. So when you pull it up, it doesn't have to go through the same distance to bring it up. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say here. So it's just a, something for you guys to know. Just enable that for transformation to uh, prevent that from happening. All right. So I think basically right now we have uh, the whole thing rigged quite nicely in this case. And uh, I think the next thing we're going to do is to try to rig uh, this piece that is the uh, drive what do you call it the steering rack down here and uh i think we're going to do that once we uh we'll do that along with uh the uh what do you call it the steering the actual steering for it that is uh, rotating this in the z-axis we'll do it with this in a separate video but uh i think i'm going to end the first video here now um if you guys have noticed i haven't really made any much of videos lately and that's because uh my phone actually got damaged and uh I couldn't make any recordings as I told you guys I don't have a mic yet so sorry about that I don't have a mic yet so I actually record with my phone it's a Microsoft phone and uh, the microphone is actually really good a Microsoft phone with a microphone yeah Microsoft phone microphone <laughs> yeah so the mi microphone is actually really good that's what I record with and uh, it got spoiled so I had to get a new phone which I haven't gotten yet this is my friend's phone is also a Microsoft phone so yeah I have to get a new phone uh, in order to start recording but right now I have, I'm using my friend's phone for this recording and that is the reason why I haven't been recording lately but I'm uh, pretty sure once I get a new phone I'll keep up I'll keep the constant update for you guys so you guys can get more videos so yeah that is why I'm gonna keep this video short it's not gonna be that long and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the next video. It's going to be, I think this is going to be about a five part video. So we only have two parts more to go. There's not much left to do, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.